All right, time for some fun at the Pueblo Zoo. This week, our photojournalist Andrea Vasquez introduces us to Beans the Chuckwalla, an animal native to southern Colorado. <laughs> This is Beans. She is our common chuckwalla. There is about five or six different species of chuckwallas in the world. So if you were to go outside in the prairie in Pueblo, you might actually find some. She's a female, so they have less fancy colors. She's mostly just brown. She has some stripes on her tail. One of her favorite snacks is dandelions. <laughs> They're actually becoming endangered by the pet trade. So I guess you could say one of their predators is humans. When they're trying to get away from a predator, they puff up so that if a predator tries to like yank on the tail to pull her out, she gets stuck. So basically she inflates herself so that she stays put. Not a whole lot of lizards inflate themselves. And then our other San Esteban Island Chuckwalla is, his name is Lieutenant Dan. Does he even blink? No. <laughs> he's like, he's like, you can't see me. He's a lot brighter in color with the yellows and blacks, and that is because all of the birds of prey that are um, his predators on the island, they poop on all the rocks. So his camouflage is actually supposed to look like rocks that have been pooped on by birds. So that is what he is designed to look like. He really, really likes scratches on his forehead. We'll see if he can close his eyes. So this is Jenny. She is our other San Esteban Island Chuckwalla. This is exactly like what her enclosure would be like in the wild, just different colors of rocks, basically, that would, um, similar to what she looks like. So even in the wild, they can live from 25 to 30 years. Um, and in captivity, they can live upwards of 50. So she's got a long life ahead of her.